Welcome to Aman Jaiswal's YouTube channel. So in the last video, I told you about some functions on the DJI Ronin app. This is very easy to use and helps to control the gimbal. So today we are going to see some functions on the app and how to use them. You will see on the gimbal I have mounted my phone along with the phone holder. And you will see I have switched on the app on the phone. Today we are going to start using the create app which is on the mobile over here. When you click on the create button, you will get to this screen. Here on the top left, you will see virtual joystick. Let's click on the virtual joystick. Now when we come to this screen, you will see on the top smoothness and speed. The speed tab allows you to adjust the remote controlled rotation speed. The smoothness allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the gimbal. The lower the smoothing value, the more sensitive the gimbal will be. The speed and smoothness of each arm can be adjusted accordingly depending upon your requirement. If you increase the speed, the smoothness will decrease and vice versa. Once we have set the speed and smoothness, we can use the app to move the roll arm. We have to use the altitude button. And to pan and tilt the camera, we have to use the watch joystick. On the bottom of the screen, on the right hand side, we have the reset button. When you press this reset button, the camera goes back to, the, to its original position. If you want to take a photograph or a video, you have to press the red color button over here. On the left, you can see this is a switch with which you can change to video and photo mode. Just ensure that the camera is on the same mode which the app is also. Now let's come out of the joystick. Look at the next feature, the Force Mobile. If the gimbal is on the tripod, just like it is now, and you want to tilt, pan and roll the gimbal, you can use the force mobile feature. In this feature, depending on the direction we want to tilt the camera, we can tilt the phone. Here also you can create video and you can have the choice of speed and the smoothness. You can set these separately for each of the arms, tilt, pan and roll arm, and you can adjust these values from here. Depending on the values you use, the gimbal can move on the same speed of the camera. When you set the speed at 50, the angle of rotation and the speed of the camera is 1 is to 1. That means the gimbal will move at the same speed as the phone. When the speed is less than 50, the gimbal will move slower than the phone. And when the speed is more than 50, the gimbal will move faster than the phone. Smoothing allows users to control the sensitivity of the gimbal. If at some stage you want to recenter the gimbal, just press here. And the bottom center is the shutter record button to take the photographs and videos. In order to switch to the force mobile, toggle this switch on. Now let me show you how it works. Now if you see, if I move my phone, the gimbal is moving in the same direction. This is very useful when the gimbal is stationed on a tripod and you want to take a video with the gimbal. Maybe you want to have yourself in the photograph. Now let's come out to this force mobile mode and the third feature which you see is the panorama. Panorama allows users to capture a series of interconnected images based on precise control. Here you have to see that you have to define the sensor type. Sensor type could be a full frame or half frame depends on the type of camera you are using. Then you have to define the lens focal length. Say 35 mm or 50 mm. It depends on the lens you are using. The third thing is overlap. This tells you the percentage of overlap of each photograph we will take when we do the panorama. And the last thing is interval. This is the time between we take one photograph and the other photograph. This is especially useful if we take large exposures. We should set the interval time at least one second more than the interval. This helps in avoiding blurred 
images. After making sure that all the settings have been entered correctly, we can now choose the range of photographs that we want to include in the panorama range. You can set this either dragging the white dots on the grip or by pushing the gimbal manually. I am here using the, this joystick for that or even you can use the virtual joystick. The virtual joystick comes on from here. So if you can see if I move it, the camera will automatically move. Now when you have fixed the screen what you have to acquire you should press on the capture button here now you can see the blue dots which the camera is capturing and the flash also opens and now you can see the camera is turning around and taking a panorama Once you have taken these photographs, you can then take them on your computer and edit them and put them together. Now that I have explained to you the create button, the force mode and the panorama, I hope that you will be able to use your gimbal even better and next time I will tell you the other features which are left on this app. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon so that when I upload my next video, you can get notified and please do not forget to comment.